A lot of people have been asking me how to secure a level 5 at foundation in maths. If you are aiming for a level 5, you are most likely confident and comfortable with the first half of the foundation papers. So doing a whole paper is probably just going to be a waste of time. This means it comes down to the last half of the paper, which is notoriously harder than the first half. To secure a level 5, you often need between 55 and 60 marks as a minimum in each paper. Now, I have found a website, which is all linked below in the description, that produces level 5 mini tests, which consist of 20 questions that are very similar to those that you'd find at the back end of a foundation paper. In this video, I have chosen one of them at random, and I'm going to complete it for you just to give you an example of how effective they can be. As always, any questions, let me know in the comments. Pause the video when you need to make notes and try the questions out for yourself. So question number one, a car travels a distance of 240 miles in four hours and 20 minutes. Work out the average speed of the car in miles per hour. So we want speed equals distance over time. Our distance is 250. And because we want it in miles per hour, we want to keep our time in hours. So 20 minutes is a third, so it's gonna be four and a third. If you put that into your calculator, we get an answer of 57.7 miles per hour. Question two, a rock has a mass of 114 grams and a density of 1.9 grams per centimeter cubed. Now a lot of you here would look at the grams and think you need to turn it into kilograms. However, because your density is in grams per centimeter cubed, our volume will just be in centimeters cubed, so you don't need to do any unit conversions here. We know that density is mass over volume, if we convert that with the triangle, mass goes at the top, and our volume will be mass over density. This will be 114 over 1.9. Again, pop it in the calculator, and your volume is 60 centimetres cubed. It costs £2.20 to buy five apples. How much would it cost to buy eight apples? So five apples equals £2.20. So if you divide by five, one apple is therefore going to be 44p. So eight apples will be eight multiplied by 44, which leaves you with three pounds and 52 pence. A number is chosen at random from the universal set. What is the probability that the number is in the set A or B? As you can see, there are 10 numbers in total. And A or B is everything within the circles. So that is going to be nine out of 10 because five is the only number that isn't in that group. Work out 7.15 times 10 to the 4 divided by 5.5 times 10 to the minus 7. So we could just put it into our calculator, but I'll talk you through the proper process on how to do these. If we do 7.15 divided by 5.5, we get 1.3. And we know that's going to be 1.3 times 10. Because of indices laws, 10 to the 4 divided by 10 to the minus 7, we subtract the powers. So it's 4 minus minus 7, which is positive 11. So that is our final answer. Given that A to B is 4 to 3 and B to C is 5 to 2, find the ratio A to B to C. So 4 to 3, 5 to 2. Just like when we're doing fractions, we want to find like a common number between the two. So because B is common in both of these ratios, 3 and 5 can become 15. Now because we've multiplied by 5 on this side of the ratio, we need to multiply the 4 by 5 also, so 20 to 15. And because we multiplied the 5 by 3, we also need to multiply the 2 by 3, which gets us 6. And that is the simplest form. The triangles are mathematically similar. Calculate the value of x. So to go from 4 to 10, we can do 10 divided by 4, which equals 2.5. So that's a scale factor of 2.5. That means we need to do 3 multiplied by 2.5, which is going to give us 7.5. Solve the simultaneous equations. Straight away, I noticed that if we multiply the top one by 4, then we're going to have the y's which will match up. So 12x plus 4y equals 44. We ignore that one. What we can now do, because they are opposite signs, we can add them together, which will cancel them out. So 14x is equal to 35. So x is going to be 35 divided by 14, which is equal to 2.5. Now what we have to do is substitute that back into our original equations. So I'm going to pick the top one because it's all positive, smaller numbers, but nice and easy. So three lots of 2.5 plus y equals 11. So 7.5 plus y equals 11. 
So y is equal to 3.5 and they are our solutions. Question number nine, calculate the length of AC. A right angle triangle where we have two other sides indicates Pythagoras. So what we're gonna to want to do to get C, we do the square root of the other two squared and add it up. So if we put that into the calculator, we get an answer of 19 over two, which is equivalent to 9.5. And question number 10, Lottie bought a house for 350,000 pounds. In the first year, the house price increased by 2%. In the second year, the house price depreciated by 5%. Work out the value at the end of the two years. So when you've got a calculator to do any form of percentage increase or decrease, you want to use calculations like these. So 350,000 times 1.02 makes 357,000. And then from there, it's a depreciation of 5%. So 357,000. This time, because it's a decrease, we take 5% off of the one value. So that leaves us with £339,150. That is the first 10 questions. On to the back 10. Write down as a column vector 3a minus 2b. So 3 lots of a is going to be minus 9, 15, because we're multiplying that by 3. Minus 2 lots of b is going to be 8, 4. Taking these away from each other, Minus 17, 11. Tina has two bags of counters, bag A and bag B. There are three red counters and four blue counters in bag A. There are five red counters and three blue counters in bag B. Tina takes at random a counter from each bag. Draw a probability tree diagram to represent this. Okay, so I've just put this on its own page to give us a bit more space. If you've got bag A and bag B, we want to draw it out like this. So the probability of getting a red and a blue and a red and a blue. So in the bag A, there is a three out of seven chance and a four out of seven chance because there's three, three red, four blue and seven in total. Likewise for bag B, we're gonna have five out of eight, three out of eight, five out of eight, three out of eight, and that's our final answer. Make A the subject of V equals U plus AT. So first of all, because we have the U as a plus, we want to take away u. So v minus u equals at. And then we can divide by t. So v minus u over t. And there is our answer. Write down the turning point of the graph. That is just where the graph reaches its bottom point. So 1 minus 3. Expand and simplify this. So expand the brackets. 9t minus 18 plus 3t minus 15. So if you collect up the like terms, we're going to have 12t minus 18 minus 15 is going to be minus 33. A line passes through the point 0, 8. The gradient of this line is 3. So we want to think of mx plus c when it comes to this. m is the gradient, so that's going to be the 3. And this coordinate here, 0, 8, is actually on the y-axis. So that's going to indicate our y-intercept. So it's going to be y equals 3x plus 8. In a sale, normal prices are reduced by 25%. The sale price of the coat is £45. So because it's been reduced by 25%, that means this new price is 75%. From there, we can divide it by 3 to get 25%, which is going to be 15. So 100%, which was the original, is these two added up, which gives us £60. Solve a quadratic equation. So first of all, we want to factorise, put y at the front. Two numbers that multiply together to make minus 35 and add together to make 2. 5 and 7 multiply to make 35. And if we make the 5 negative, that will add to make minus 2. Because we need a negative to make minus 35. So from there, y must be 5 and y must be minus 7. That is our two solutions. So question number 19 we actually want to use trigonometry. So A, C, B is going to be this angle down here. That means that this is the opposite, this is the hypotenuse. So we want to use SO, which is sin. So sin of x is equal to 6 over 13. So we want to do sin to the minus 1 of 6 over 13. And that gets us a value of 27.5 degrees. If you have any questions on that one, let me know in the comments because that can be quite tricky. The bearing of A from B is 120 degrees. Find the bearing of B from A. So if point B is here, 
bearings always have to be from the north and clockwise. So 120 is going to be about there, which means A is about there. So these two lines are parallel. And we want to find the bearing of B from A. Again, because they have to be from the north line and clockwise, the bearing is going to go all the way round that way. So we can use angle rules to work out this one. If this is 120 and these are parallel, this produces co-interior angles, which means these add up to 180. So this must be 60. And then 360 take away 60 is equal to 300. And that is our final answer. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful and I hope you can use this to secure your level 5. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you found the video useful and good luck in those exams.